Hi guys, Christy here with It's a Book Thing, and I'm just here to give you my June wrap-up for all the books that I read in June and my July to be read. So without further ado, let's get started. In June, I read a total of 11 novels, and it was a really good month for me. I read a lot of really interesting things, and but because there's so many of them, I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So in no particular order, here are the books that I read in June. So A Matter of Heart, A Matter of Fate, excuse me, um, from the Fate series by Heather Lyons. This is book two in the Fate series, and this follows the life of Chloe, who is a creator of worlds and destroyer of worlds, and she's just a teenager, and she's trying to find her way in the world and trying to figure out what's going on, and she has two loves, and it's just a love triangle, and you know how I feel about love triangles. <sighs> But uh, Heather Lyons does a really good job with this one. It's a young adult novel. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's four out of five stars. And that's, again, that's the second book in the Fate series. So the next book I read was Unearthly. But it's an Unearthly series by Cynthia Hand. And this follows a young woman who is finds out that she's a part, an, part of an... Who's part angel. And... I really, really enjoyed this one. It was a great novel. I thought that the love interests in it were believable. And the way that Cynthia Hand depicts some of the scenery in Jackson Hole is just very interesting and uh, draws you in as a reader. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I gave Unearthly four out of five stars. So the next book was The Duff, The Designated Ugly Fat Friend by Cody Keplinger. This is also a young adult novel. I just love this book. It was so funny and so heartwarming. Follows the life of a girl who just wants to just fit in. She needs to find uh, escape from the horrible parts of her life. And she does that in the hottie around school. So funny book. Great story. Loved it. It's going on my uh, list of top reads for 2012. And that is, I gave that five out of five stars. So the next book on my list was To Wed a Rake by Eloisa James. And this is a novella. It's a cute little story um, with some Shakespeare tie-ins to it. Uh, fun, fast read. And um, I gave that one four out of five stars. The next book is Ice Rose, a young adult spy novel by Allison Newman. This was a hard read for me. It was an ARC, and I just had a hard time getting through it. I thought it was a little bit slow in places. And I also thought it, everything that I read about in the novel, it just felt like it had been said and done before. So I had a difficult time with this one. Um, I gave it three out of five stars. Just wasn't for me, I don't think. So the next book that I read was Rising Calm. It's the first one in the Rising Calm series by Haley Fisher. And I gave this one a three out of five. It wasn't the worst read I've ever had. It wasn't the best either. So just to, it was okay. <laughs> you know, that's all, yeah. <laughs> the next book is The Halo Effect, um, the second book in the Cupid Chronicles by Shauna Allen. Now, this is a really great series. If you want to read adult, adult romance fiction, then you need to pick up Shauna Allen's books. She writes just a way that makes you just laugh and giggle, and her characters are true life, and you feel like you can really climb in the book and see and know what's going on. Um, and I gave The Halo Effect four out of five stars. The next book is Tangled, which is a standalone uh, book in a type of series. It's Tangled. The first, this is the first book in a series where each book will follow a different person. And it was written by Emma Chase, and it's an adult contemporary. And this one has a fairly high heat level, so I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. But it was a great read. I had a blast reading it. I thought it was hysterical. I gave it five out of five stars and is also going on my top reads for 2013. I have a lot of top reads this month. It was a good month reading. So my next book um, that I read was Strong Enough by Ellen Harger. This is a new adult fiction novel. This, I re this book I really, really, really struggled with. I didn't relate to any of the characters. And 
the character that I did relate to was just a sub character who was like, la la la. <laughs> so I really, really struggled with this book and I only gave it two out of five stars. I didn't relate to it. I didn't like the storyline. There wasn't anything in there that drew me out or made me want to see these characters move forward. So didn't enjoy it. it was well written. Didn't enjoy it. So two out of five stars. The next book I read was Legend by Marie Lu. And I did a video review of this. So you know that it's a story regarding uh, about Day and June. And it's in a utopian society in LA. And it was a phenomenal read. Great fun. I had a lot of good things to say about it. Quick read interesting characters. I can't wait to read Prodigy, which I have now. So it'll be, it's a good read. So I gave this one a four out of five stars. Good read. The last book I read for the month of June is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I didn't like it. I thought that I was expecting a lot more because of all the rave reviews that I've heard for it. Now this is a retelling of the Cinderella story, but it's also has Anast the Anastasia story in there as well. So the author has combined these two fairy tales and made it into this dystopian New Beijing story. Now with cyborgs and robots and all that fun stuff. I just didn't relate to it. I, I, There was a lot of things that I wanted to see happen in this book that didn't happen. And then the ending was kind of a cliffhanger. And cliffhangers are right up there with love triangles for me. Do not like them. So I struggled with it. I am going, I am however going to read Scarlet because I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But I just didn't relate to it as much as I would have liked to and as much as I thought that I would. So I gave this one, um, Cinder, I gave it three out of five stars. Some people are going to want to lynch me for that. All right, so on to July. July is going to be a very busy month and I'm hoping to be able to get as, all the stuff that I want done in the month of July done. But let's start with my advanced release copies that I've been asked to do reviews for. Let's start with those. My first book um, on my to be read for July is Glitter by Mona Darling. And this is a book of short stories with um, media and just interesting short stories uh, erotic short stories. So this is going to have a really high heat level and it's not something that I would probably recommend for younger audiences. Um, but I, I'm interested to see how they're going, how um, Mona Darling is going to portray this. So Glitter by Mona Darling and that will be reviewed on my blog this month. The next book that I'm going to review is Dark Connections by Rebecca Graff. This is the second book in the Connection series. I haven't read Deep Connections, the first book, so I'm going to make sure to read that one before I read Dark Connections so that I can get a really good feel of what Dark Connections is for my review. So those are two other books on my to be read. Um, Deep Connections and Dark Connections by Rebecca Graff will both be books I'll read this month. And then my final ARC for the month is Uprising. It's the first book in the Fires of Providence by Dawn Jane. Now this is, I think it's a, it's a dystopian novel about angels, um, but I don't know a lot about it. So all I can say is that according to the blurb, um, it talks about powerful angels and secretive feared societies and the purposes of people's lives. So I love the cover. The cover's beautiful. Very, you know, eye-catching and draws you in. So that is my next uh, ARC t um, TBR. A <laughs> lot of, lot of analogies here. Okay, so for my book club this month, 
Where's my book club book? So for my book club this month, we are reading um, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And I am really, 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 really excited to read this one. I can't wait. Uh, I have a couple of other books that I'm reading right now that are stopping me from really delving into this one. But this is the one that we're reading for book club this month. And I'm excited to see what happens. It's set in 1986. And I remember 1986, so I'm interested to see if it's a true way of doing it and, you know, a cute little love story. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so excited about that. That's my um, um, It's a Book Thing Book Club Book of the Month. So then there's several books that I want to read that I hope to get to. Um, I want to read Clockwork Angel. Um, this is that steam, a steampunk novel that everybody says such great things about. So I'm really excited to see that. I've never read steampunk before, so um, that would be Clockwork Angel. My next one is The Immortal Rules. Again, I think I'm a little bit behind the times on some of these books, so I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> then um, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I'm going to read that one this month, hopefully. Then, of course, I'm going to read the, uh, another book from my um, ARC for August, but it's due on the first week of August, so I want to finish it in July. It's called The Letter by Marianne Spitzer, and um, I'm not sh I don't know a lot about this one either, as it's an ARC, so I'll let you know. Um, and then I'm going to be participating in the July Bookathon from July 15th through the 21st, and I have several books picked out for that, and that will be in its sep a separate video. So I think that that's it. Those are my June wrap-ups and my July to be reads. Um, if you know something that you think that I would enjoy to reading, or if you have any comments or questions, or if you've read any of these books and you want to leave me some information on them, that would be fantastic. Um, like I said, all my books are reviewed on my blog, and I'll make sure to leave the information below. And if you're interested in joining my book club, it's a book thing on Goodreads. I'll also leave that link below as well. And I'll be filming several different more videos today, so I hope you like my outfit and my hair, because it's going to be a look for me for a while. So thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.